especially for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a front approaching us and as that happens, our mugginess is going to surge and with that extra humidity, we are looking for a heat index tomorrow of up to 120. You do not see that very often in the excessive heat warnings issued from the National Weather Service. So just a big heads up for tomorrow. Weather impact alert day Sunday 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Take all of your usual precautions like drinking lots of water and taking breaks, but with a heat index near 120, I mean, if you can avoid doing something strenuous at all outdoors in between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m., probably a good idea. It's going to be very humid as well as very hot, and there's your excessive heat warning. For example, tomorrow's planner we can see by noon, 93 or so for the air temperature. The feels like, though, could easily be close to 115, and then later in the day, the temperature will still go up to upper 90s, could feel like 116 plus, and again, some spots may be near 120. It's going to be a really hot day tomorrow. So big heads up for tomorrow. Also today, pretty hot and humid, but just not quite as bad as we're expecting tomorrow. Our feels like temperatures in the triple digits, but some of us clearly getting some rain to help out as we head into this evening. And a big area of thunderstorms actually is moving in north of Lake Pontchartrain. There's lightning, there's thunder, and there was briefly a severe thunderstorm warning just north of Bogalusa for potential wind gusts up to about 50, 60 miles per hour. We also had this recent downpour right over New Orleans. That one is moving a bit farther south now. But look at these storms. Again, you're going to see a lot of lightning, some brief heavy rain, but also could be a good thing. We've been looking in a lot of spots for rain in this very hot and mostly dry kind of week that we've had, at least in spots. Here's your tentative timeline with these showers and storms. You can see moving farther to the south. It's only moving about 10 or so miles per hour, but could be around Waveland, maybe near 640 or so, maybe on towards Slidell around 7 or a bit after. And then later tonight, we'll keep our rain chance slim with lows north and south in the 70s to about 80. And then tomorrow, our very hot and humid day is expected about 97 for the high. Our rain chance is about 20 to 30 percent. Some of you may get it too late in the day to really help you out with that heat. But tomorrow, take the heat seriously, I would say. Now, Monday, that front along which and ahead of which we're seeing that mugginess build up. The front will actually move through on Monday, so a decent chance for some scattered showers and storms Monday. And then we actually get a nice break in humidity for the middle of the week. Still hot, but not as humid, and we have some rain returning Friday and Saturday. All right, pay attention because you will soon have the